okay so now we are into our laptop so the first thing that you need to do is you need to install the arduino id so just type uh, arduino id in your search engine and then the first search result will be the arduino software just click this and you will land to a web page like this and then you will scroll down and select the operating system that you are using so if you are using windows then you will select this one if you are using mac you will select this and if you are using linux you will select between these options okay so just go to this website and install your arduino id i guess it won't take much time okay and then open your arduino id just a second where is this okay so just open id it will take some time to uh, start okay and then you need to install a couple of things actually not install you need to do a couple of things first of all search esp32 github and you will land to this page uh, click the first search result scroll down and scroll down actually and click on this instruction to board manager okay so what you need to do is you need to grab this link okay so just select this link copy this link go to your id go to file go to preferences and then copy that link over here okay just copy that link over there click ok and then you have added this esp32 to your board manager then the next thing that you need to do is click on this tool click on this manage libraries and it will take some time make uh, just wait for this to happen okay so ignore this error kind found board txt okay so if this happens ignore this just search esp32 on this press enter uh, no actually not on manage library sorry i'm pretty new to arduino you need to select board okay and then go to board manager do not worry if you are not getting this esp vova module option just select this board option click on this board manager okay click on this board manager and then write esp32 here okay esp32 here you will get this option select the version select this latest version only and then click on this install button over here okay and then click cancel okay and then what you need to do is you need to select uh, the board you will get option like uh, arduino and this esp board so click on this esp32 vover module select this speed to be as 115200 uh, flash frequency let it be 80 flash mode is q10 sorry qio <laughs> Uh, and this partition scheme make this as huge app okay and the debug is known and select the port select the port means on which port on which uh, usb port you are connecting your arduino uno the usb that you have connected to your arduino uno connect that to one of the port on your laptop okay now i guess we are done with the installation process if you are having any problem then comment down below i'll make sure that i resolve that problem okay then what you need to do is you need to go to this website i'll provide the link in the description this is the github repository for esp32 cam so that we can get the still image from our esp32 cam okay so let me just give you an overview that how this project will work so we'll use this code to get the still image from our ESP32 and then we'll use a infinite while loop to get like a slideshow of image and this is how we'll get our video okay so the video will be the slideshow of our images that we get from our ESP32 so what we need to do is we need to download this code so just download this zip and then place this zip let's say on your uh, desktop only okay 
so place this on your desktop and then go to your Arduino ID select this tool and actually select on this sketch and then click on this include library okay and this add dot zip file and then locate your add zip file uh, it is on desktop and then select that zip file and click open okay so now this screen will be populated with this code so what you need to do is you need to connect your uh, laptop with a Wi-Fi so my Wi-Fi name is bahut slow chalta hai net okay so you need to write your uh, SSID or the name of your Wi-Fi now if you don't understand Hindi this means that my internet is very slow okay okay so let me write this uh, Wi-Fi name and password okay so now we are done with that just write the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password and then what you need to do is you need to click on this upload button make sure that you have done everything you have connected the USB to the Arduino as well as the laptop you have take this and you have everything like the board is ESP32 over the upload speed is this and this and this okay so make sure that everything is set up click on this upload button and you have to wait for a really long time because it will take long time so let me scroll this up okay so I got an error which is a very common one so let me first see the connection if there is any loose connection because one of the main reason is the connection only so yeah I have connected this wrong so you have to connect the input to the ground in your ESP32 so I have done that wrong so let me connect this okay so let's try this again and I hope I won't get any error this time okay so we are getting that error again so let me first see the connection then I'll just wait for a second okay okay so after the program is properly uploaded you will get a message somewhat like this okay so what you need to do is you need to remove the uh, female to female uh, wire which was connected from input to the ground on our ESP32 don't remove anything on the Arduino Uno disconnect them in one go and press the reset button just open the uh, serial monitor from here and then press the reset button you will see a message somewhat like this camera ok and then you will see a IP address and then some of the image names here now if you are not getting message like this and getting some weird message you need to adjust this uh, this meter from here and select this 115200 ok from here now I don't have much knowledge on Arduino so I'm just telling you the things that are required for this project because our channel is based on Python not on Arduino so what you need to do is you need to copy this path okay so, so just copy this path go to your ID where your face recognition program is so let me first run this then I'll show you that how this will work okay so here's your IP address and then and then just provide the picture name okay so we'll get the low resolution pictures so we'll write cam low.jpg you can select any format from here so let me take some time and explain you this python program so first of all we have imported the opencv urllib and numpy package if you don't already have them just pip install pip install 
uh, OpenCV Python, uh, Python, and then URL lib, and then NumPy. So we need these three packages. URL lib and NumPy will be used to extract the image from this URL and then convert this into a readable form. So this URL lib will be used to extract the image from this uh, URL and then NumPy will be used to convert this data into more Python recognable data, the data that Python can recognize. So first we have created a variable in which our har cascade is stored. Now the har cascade includes the facial features. So I'll provide this har cascade in the description link which will be my github link on which this program as well as this har cascade will be present okay then you have to create a variable which will have this url okay so just copy this url and place the uh, quality of the image and then we are saying that cv2 will be auto size gui and then we are creating a while loop Okay, so we are creating an infinite while loop so that this uh, URL lib request can run multiple times and then extract the slideshow of images that will ultimately be recognized as a video. Okay, so here we are uh, extracting the URL and here we are converting that into more Python recognable data. Okay. And then we are converting this here into grayscale so that the features are more prominent. And then here we are applying this uh, face cascade to the uh, image extracted. These three factors I have explained in my face recognition video. I will provide the link below. Okay. And then this face variable will have four values. First is the starting x axis, starting y-axis the width and the height so these four values will be used to draw the rectangle on the face of human okay and then we have used this i am show method to show that image to our user through gui and then this wait key will be used to uh, exit our gui through a specific key so we are using q so if we press q our gui will be exit or will be closed okay then we are using cv2 dot destroy all windows so let's see that whether this is working right or not so i'm facing the esp32 on my face so you will see my beautiful face as soon as this program runs so okay and it is showing my face so here you can see so it is having some delay because uh, basically my internet is slow and it is not able to do face recognition because uh, the pixel is very so, so here you can see it is recognizing my chest as my face but whatever we are getting the input from our ESP32 we can also use the high quality image so where was the high quality image so you can see this is showing the byte size okay we can also select the higher quality image and the face recognition in the higher quality image will be greater than the lower quality okay so this was it this was a short video in which i have shown you that how you can use your esp32 for face recognition now this video is not over yet don't go because I'll also show you that how you can use this ESP32 with an external power supply. So here we are connected to our PC through USB. So the power provided to our ESP32 is through laptop. But what we can do is we can use multiple ways here. First way is to use this Arduino and the external power supply. Or what else you can do is you can uh, just a second where was that okay so you can also use this TTL cable to serial adapter which will work 
very similar to our Arduino Uno. We will connect the wires here on these pins and this USB will be connected to your laptop or whatever power supply you have. So let me connect this uh, ESP32 to my power bank and show you that whether it's working properly or not. So let me connect this to my power bank. Okay, so let me run the program again and show you that whether it's connected to the power bank or not because I know you must be having trust issues. So yeah, this is my face. And let me show you that how this is connected to power bank. Okay, so this is power bank and you can see that it is connected to your uh, Arduino Uno. So power bank connected to Arduino Uno. So you can place this on just let me close this. Okay, so yeah, it is closed. Okay, so now this project is very compact and this Wi-Fi cam can be placed anywhere. Let's say that you are gone out of town and you place this USB cam with the power supply or with this power bank only to your main gate. So what it will do is you can use, use this for face recognition also. Okay, now I am using this for my final year project i will mount this wi-fi cam on the top of my robot car the robot car will be present on your screen now this is an obstacle avoiding robot car which is having ultrasonic sensor which will detect the obstacle in front of it and then avoid them and then this esp32 is mounted on the top so that it can recognize whether the object in front is a human face or not. I know the accuracy is very low but if we use a higher quality camera sensor then we can definitely get a good result like we have seen in our phone camera because our phone camera was also acting like a Wi-Fi webcam the same as this ESP32 but our phone camera was having a better quality camera this is why the face recognition was more accurate okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have shown you that how you can use the esp32 wi-fi cam for face recognition in pipe okay so meet in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye